Hello, my name is Tim Dormer, Solutions Architect at AWS. Today, we're going to step through a simple example of sharing a VPC lattice service across accounts using AWS Resource Access Manager. We already have a VPC lattice service available in account B, which we want to share with the consumer in VPC A in account A. To do this, we're going to use AWS Resource Access Manager. In account A, we'll create a VPC lattice service network. We'll need to attach VPC A to that new service network. Then we'll attach the account B service, which we've shared with account A using GRAM, to the service network in account A. With this complete, we'll then access the service in account B from VPC A. You'll notice that I'm using uh, Firefox with uh, containers, and this allows me to open multiple accounts in the same browser. As you can see in the red, we're in account B, and we're going to go in here and we're going to create a new uh, resource share. So we'll give it a name, and we're going to give it a name so it's different than the actual uh, name of the service. The service in this case is a, is a Lambda function. So we'll call it dash B. And then in here, we've got, uh, we can do a service network or a lattice service. So we're going to do service in, in this video. Uh, we select the name of the service. And then we go and uh, click on next. So you can put tags in there if you want. You can see here that we've got uh, some permissions. So we're going to leave those to default. I've got the, uh, the account number of the account that I want to share with. So I've popped that in there and clicked on next. And that all looks good. So let's go and, and create that share. Do a refresh and just see that's going OK. OK, let's go back to account A and go into Resource Access Manager. And you can see we've got an invitation for the share. So let's go and select that and we'll accept. Do we really want to do it? Yes, we do. So we can click on the shared resources and just see that it's, it's in there and it's accessible. OK, let's go into VPC Lattice. And we can see that the service has been shared into VPC Lattice. And note it's got the original name, not the, the dash B of the the, the RAM uh, share that we've created. So let's go and create a service network. We don't have one in account A yet. Uh, we want to make sure that we select the service that we want to share and also the VPC association. So um, Again, I'm leave the, the IAM policies open. We have a separate video on that. And we can see now that we've got service associations and VPC associations, and we just see it's gone active. There's the service. Now we can't retrieve the, the listener details because um, they're in a different account. We don't have permission. And here's the, the, the DNS. So let's select the DNS. Let's flip across to Cloud9. Open it up. And um, we're in Cloud9 in account A. And now we're going to access that service that we've shared across accounts. And that concludes it. So thank you very much for your time.